Now let's see how to flash the code into the 8051 microcontroller board. I have here the Neuton W78E052D board is here and uh, I have a laptop with the USB port. So for this to program I need to have a serial bootloader uh, flasher for that so I have a USB to UART converter. This is a simple USB to UART converter. You get uh, many varieties of USB to UART converter. Anything will work out. So what you need to do is one end should be connected to the PC. Okay. So one should be should be connected to the PC. Once you connect it, the the device will detect the USB comp. You are supposed to once you connect that USB to UART connector to the system, just search device manager over here. Device manager, and this is a device manager, and you can just see the ports under ports. You can see the my uh, the USB to UART is CP2102. So you can get any varieties of many varieties of USB UART, uh, maybe from uh, uh, FTD or it could be CH340 based USB to UART converter. Anything will work, but the one thing you are supposed to make sure that the number supposed to be noted down, this number, the COM8, COM1, COM2, any number supposed to appear. So use this number for connecting the device, okay. So once it is done, so here, what you need to do is, you, we have provided uh, an interface from the system to this board using serial communication. On the board, you can see there is a port called this. You can see TX, RX, and ground. So, this TX, RX, and RX, TX, and ground are the three terminals, okay, especially TX and RX, supposed to be connected to the, the USB to UART converter. So, on the USB to UART converter, as you can see here, on this, you have something called as here RX, and here it is TX. So what I will be doing is, I will be connecting this TX to the RX. So you are sending something from the program from this and you are sending it here. So you are transmitting to the TX pin and it should be received at the RX pin. So if, if it is sending at the TX pin, this should be received as RX pin. So you need to make a cross wire connection, something like this. So what you need to do is, if you are sending a signal like this, so if you are sending something. So there is something called as TX, this is from the PC and this is RX. So TX will be something like this, RX will be something like this and this is our 8051. So we have something called as TX over here and this is RX over here. So what we supposed to do is this TX should be connected to the RX crossover connection and RX should be connected to the TX. So obviously ground should be made common on the both the side and should be power. So this is what we are going to do. So I am going to have three cables over here, four cables are here. So what I will do is I will identify first I will power the board. So the only way to power the board is from this. Okay. So I am supposed to use this USB to UART for the powering the board as well. So identify the plus 5 volts on this. This is plus 5 volt, you can give it over here plus 5 volt here on the board or you also you can give it over here. So there is something called as ground over here, I am connecting this ground to the ground over here or you can also give it over here. So 5 volt and ground you connect, once you connect this will power up. Then you are supposed to have TX and RX, so connect the TX, give it to the RX terminal crossover connection. This TX is supposed to be given to the RX and the RX is supposed to be given to TX. So TX over here. So that makes the connection. So once this is done, now we are supposed to go on to the system side. So once the connection is done, you are supposed to open an application called Neoton IST ICP. I have given the download link for this utility, you can open that application there. So 
once you open it, you get in a window something like this. So here you are supposed to select ICP by COM port and select the COM number what you have seen in the device manager. This is now COM8 right now and here you have to select the family of 8051. So we have 80W78E052D is a family and you need to load the file. So I will open a simple hex file for square wave generation, double click on this. How to generate the hex file on the Keel Microvision, I have given a separate video on my previous links, you can just go through that. Now once you do this, now what you need to do is to simply update the chip. So you have to update the chip, click on this update, it will say detecting chip, now press the reset, on the board you have a reset button. Just hold the reset and release it. So once you do this, you can get the message like chip is successfully updated. So each time when you press update the chip, you're supposed to press support. Now I'm going to update the chip. And on the board over here, you're supposed to press the reset button. Okay, once you press the reset button, now go back to this. Press the reset button and you're supposed to go to the application and update. So this has to be done simultaneously. Update the chip. It says now press the reset button and say EEPROM erased. So this is what we are going to do. So once you do this board, I have done a flashing program for the square wave. You can take up simple jumper wires, connect it to one of the port here. This is port 1.0. I'll give it to the LED over here and you can see this LED started blinking. So when you press reset, it will be at logic high. When you release it, LED operation will start. So I have I have flashed uh, such that all the ports will actually blink the LED. You can see here. Okay. So this is the application program, and this is how we need to update the board. Okay. So that's it.